Peter in the Czech Republic says, I have in mind a device like Art Cleanbox Pro. Okay, there you go. Um, it, it is a signal to un. Uh, it, it is an active device that changes balanced signal to an unbalanced, and vice versa. Do you think this might be a solution for my need of a 20 meter interconnect cable? Wow, 60 feet! Yikes! Um, I could use a balanced cable from my phono preamp, use this DI box as a converter, and then just a very short unbalanced cable to the amplifier. Big thanks. I, Peter, I'm not quite sure I fully understand what you're doing. If what you're asking me is, can I take a balanced cable, run it for 60 feet, 20 meters, and terminate it just before where it's going into this box and then onto a single-ended cable that is, I assume, because you don't have a balanced input on this uh, secondary device. Uh, yeah, that's probably okay. I mean, any time that you do something like that, you run the risk of degrading sound quality by virtue of how good that box is. And I, I have no clue. If I were designing that box and took all the right precautions, then and, and I'm not bragging, I'm just saying someone like me or Darren or Bob Stadther who know what they're doing in terms of sound quality and using the, the correct uh, stuff to make it work, then yeah, that would be a good solution. This could be, though, as simple as just a cheap little op amp, which is likely what it is, with a differential input, a cheesy little power supply, and eh. If it was for a woofer, yeah, you'd be fine. If it was for the main system, I think I might shy away from it. But from a hum standpoint, from a noise rejection standpoint, yes, that would work. So remember, an XLR cable is our friend. As long as you have a proper output, a balanced output, feeding along interconnect, XLR interconnect, and a proper balanced input. Why? because in a balanced circuit you have the phases going up and the phases going down. They're out of phase with each other. Two wires, ground going around that. Anything picked up like noise, hum, RF, anything picked up in common on the two conductors will be eliminated, crushed, killed by the differential input on your equipment, which is exactly what this thing is doing and I'm sure it does it very well. The question is, how much degradation sonic are you going to get using what I guess is a cheesy little circuit, but maybe it's high-end and, and wonderful. And if that's the case, you're okay. Okay.